What is up, people of YouTube? I'm your host, Vernon. This is 33 Hole. Let's fish that. Right, ladies and gents this video is going to be very improvised this is not a planned or scheduled video and i quickly want to explain what i mean by that uh, normally when i do a video uh, i film the video i edit the video and I upload it and by the time you guys get to see the video it's normally something like a week and that means i have to quite uh, think forward a bit about when i can go fishing and that means i have to be quite vigilant of the weather now i myself i'm no weather expert uh, so i have to give credit where credit is due and one of the channels I watch quite a lot here on YouTube, it is Ryan Hall Yol. Down in the video description, I'll put a link to his channel if you want to go and watch that. But what he basically does is he shows some satellite and radar maps of the US and shows how uh, the different high pressures and low pressures uh, moves around and how that's creating storms. And he kind of explains everything. And from those pictures, he then makes predictions about what the weather is going to be doing. Now, yes, his channel does focus quite a lot on the eastern side of the United States, uh, giving stuff like tornado warnings and uh, snow and uh, ice rain warnings. But that's simply because we here in Vegas, we don't really see a lot of that. Uh, even though we have a beautiful day out here today, I know that uh, based on his videos, that will be changing soon. There is a big storm coming from Oregon. They're already experiencing rain as I'm filming this. And that's going to be moving down here, bringing lots of wind, lots of rain, especially over the weekend. And thus, I'm kind of forced to uh, do a video now as my equipment won't work in the rain. Uh, but not really having a plan or thinking about what it is I'm going to be doing today. I think I want to go down to the 33 hole area uh, where the little creek runs into Lake Mead and see if we can get any fish. But we're not going to catch anything uh, standing around at Pitchfork Cove parking area. So let's get down there. Alright, so why am I choosing this particular spot? Well, quite simple. Uh, the last time I was out here, I could see quite a lot of stripers chasing some bait fish. Didn't have any anchovies with me. So this time around, we're going to use some anchovies out there, see if we can get any stripers or maybe some catfish. Also quite a lot of birds in this area, meaning that uh, there's quite a lot of bait fish. Otherwise, all these birds wouldn't be in one particular spot. And we also have quite a lot of people on boats fishing in this area. Uh, that means they're using their little scanners and they're seeing that there's fish in this area. So I'm more than happy to throw out some baits. Let's see if we get anything out there. All right, so we got our two rods with some baits soaking out there. Uh, the idea is going to be moving them around quite a lot to see whether we can find out where the fish are. But I'm also going to give it an hour or two. Then I'm going to put away the one rod, maybe try with some lures just to keep active, keep busy. All right, guys, so I do remember that this is the Las Vegas Creek. It's not something I would recommend anyone take a swim in, but I do have some waders, which makes it a lot safer and easier to move through the water and through the mud. So I'm gonna be exploring this entire shelf trying to find out where the fish are, trying to cast out there, see if we can find any fish, move from spot to spot. Hey, what's up guys? You guys are here with Victoria's Fishing. I just saw Vernon out here and uh, 
I thought I'd come say hi. I saw he was struggling a little bit in his last video, and I wanted to see how he was doing right now. So um, I ran into a few shad over there, and I had a few here in my bucket, and I just handed him a few right now. And when I first got here, I, I got on some fish right away. Literally, my first my first four casts, I got on some fish right away. And then it slowed down, and then I got another one, and I just ended up moving over here to this way, which I saw him, and now I'm sitting here saying what's up to him. I gave him a few shad, so hopefully with those shad, he can get on some fish. But yeah, guys, Victoria's Fishing. Thank you, guys. All right, so special thanks to Victor. Remember to check out his Instagram at Victorious Fishing. And also he has a YouTube channel. Uh, make sure to go check on that. I'll put some links in the description down if you want to go check Victor's channel. All right. Thanks, Victor. Uh, man, I appreciate that, buddy. All right, guys. So if you've seen a couple of my videos, you will know that this is not the first time I'm running into Victor out here. Now, whereas I'm just someone that does fishing whenever I feel like it. Victor is actually someone that has been fishing here for quite a while. He knows some of the ins and outs of this place. And he explained to me that this particular spot behind me, uh, the little shad have been schooling together in this area. So, of course, I'm going to listen to him and try and make my way over to this particular spot. But I do have to give a fair bit of warning. Yes, I do have my waders on and everything. But this particular the surface that I'm walking on, it's not all solid ground. A lot of it is big, deep uh, sinkholes. You can sink in quite deep, quite quickly. So be very careful when exploring a little marshy area like this. All right, ladies and gents, I promised myself I wouldn't do another video where I show you all the birds stealing my baits. And that has been pretty much my experience out here today. Lots of action on the little bell. That's only from the birds trying to get my baits off of the hooks. But just because I suck at fishing doesn't mean everyone else does. I know Victor, I think he got something like six fish out there. And the gentleman fishing next to me uh, using some anchovies, he's already caught one striper and uh, three little channel catfish so i don't know if it's just an unlucky pair of underwear i'm wearing today or something but no luck out there now this also kind of ties in with something that victor said to me he said that after watching a few of my videos seeing how much i'm struggling he does feel bad for me even though i appreciate the sentiment uh, please do not feel bad for me when not catching any fish yes i know the videos are boring with me just rambling on and not having any fish in there but there's no need to feel bad for me. I mean, I still enjoy my time out here. And to be honest with uh, everything happening at the moment in Ukraine, you know, it's something that's in the back of my mind constantly. It is nice to then just have a bit of time to come out here, just relax and try and think about things while fishing. And in many ways, uh, count my blessings being able to be out here and be able to do some fishing. All right, but on that somber note, uh, I hope you guys had some a distraction of this little video at least and hopefully by the time you guys see this video the bad weather would be over as well so please remember to give me a little like on this video you can ask any questions down below in the comments uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already all right thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time spent hours fishing all the way over there and this is where all the bait fish are at the moment you can see them jumping around